Hi folks, how are you all doing today? It's match day, the best day of the week. It's Saturday today. Hibernian Mighty High Bees are at home today. It's season one, episode one of my new vlog series today. It is Hibernian versus Motherwell at Easter Road at the Leaf San Siro. It's going to be an important match today. Very, very indifferent start for Hibs. You know, made a great, great start to the season. Uh, you know, winning games against Partick and Rangers and then the wheels kind of came off a little bit losing at home to uh, Hamilton and then, you know, in the last two games we've drew now that's, when you say it like that it's not particularly great you know, two points away from home mm, it's not really that great when you consider that one of them was uh, Dundee and the other one was St Johnston St Johnston, top four team the last couple of years you know, that to me was a good point away from home a what about a talk today on uh, the opponents today, Motherwell, they've made a great start to the season, absolutely phenomenal start to the season, they have actually won the last three games on the trot, so it is a very, very, very hard game for Hibs today, I really do believe that we can get three points, I think we're good enough, uh, but I really start to think, I really am believing now that it's, start, it's time for Hibs big hitters to really start hitting. Hibs have really taken a hit this season. We've lost Jason Cummins, who unfortunately was a 25 goal a season striker. We did bring in Anthony Stokes. Hopefully he can, you know, go in that that role of scoring the goals. We've got Simon Murray just now, uh, you know, my brother from another mother, who has actually scored 10 goals already this season which has been phenomenal for us already this season. It has been a really, really cracking start to the season for him. I do believe it is time for the Ice of Stokes to start standing up, uh, really, you know, start hitting the heights that we all know that he's capable of. You know, he is a really, really big player for Hibs. I really think that it is time for him to start showing that. Maybe I'm being a bit nippy. You know, it is only six games into the season. You know, we have another 32 games still to play. But this is a big, big month for Hibs. This is probably the only home game we've got in the month of September. Um, you know, for the rest of September, I beg your pardon. You know, we're playing Ross County away next day. And unfortunately, it's just that little task of playing Celtic away from home. So, you know, today, three points would be massive, in my opinion, to get three points. But, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see how the match goes. Hopefully, I will be able to bring you some good news come five o'clock. I hope so. Fingers crossed. And one thing, and one thing only. One the high bees. One the hubs. Right in the middle, Stokesy, come on! Come on! Yes! Come on! Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Um, well, I don't have the happy news that I wanted to bring you. Unfortunately, Hibs drew yesterday at home to Motherwell 2-2 after being 2-0 up. It's a really, really disappointing result for Hibs, unfortunately. Um, I felt in phases of the game yesterday, you know, we really, really controlled the game. Um, it was just unfortunate that, you know, we, we got pegged back. Motherwell showed yesterday what a good team they, they are. And they are a really good team. I think they'll be a good force in the, the SPL this season. Um... Really, really difficult result to take because I felt in phases of the game, you know, we were playing really, really well. We passed the ball well. The two big areas of concern for me were the left-back position, which Stephen Whitaker was playing. I don't really understand why he was there. For me, Lewis Stevenson is going to be the first starter there. And, <coughs> pardon me, um, in my opinion, Rocky had his, his worst game for Hibs yesterday. Um... He had an absolute stinker. Um, you know, every time there was a cross ball coming into his box, he was flapping it every time. Uh, he was at fault for the first goal. Should have came for it. Came, started coming, came back, started coming, came back. And Louis Malt done what Louis Malt does. And, you know, he scored quite a good goal. The second goal for me again, his positioning was really, really questionable. The goal uh, seemed to go in in the middle of the goal. 
and it still managed to beat him. I think his positioning was really, really rubbish yesterday. But again, everybody else in the team, I couldn't really complain. Marvin Bartley, I thought, was outstanding yesterday. Um, the pace that he showed at times to get back, basically box to box, the tackles he was putting in, some of them were outstanding. Um, so that's my review of the game. You know, really, really disappointing. It really feels like a defeat. You know, it was two points dropped. Um, but certainly, there was signs that, there was signs to be cautiously optimistic there. As I said to somebody in the pub yesterday, um, if you had offered me this, you know, sixth in the table, first season back in the, in the top flight against, you know, much, much better teams, you know, than what we've been playing uh, week on week. Uh, week on week, um, every other you know, every other week, um, I probably would have took it to be on to be really honest with you. Uh, yeah, it's disappointing. You know, no one's in four now. Drew our last three games. Yeah, it's not great, but we have to just deal with. It. We have to just deal with, it, unfortunately, and we will make good. I seen enough of him yesterday to say that we will make good. Um, but again, we're just going to have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, on to next week, on to Ross County. Um, I shall see you all there, hopefully. And again, one thing and one thing only, one the Habs, one the high bees. <laughs>